Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Laura and I'm so happy to have you join me today. And if you're new here, consider giving me the thumbs up as it really helps my channel, but also by subscribing, leaving me your comments and make sure you click that bell so you get the notifications when we have new content to share with you. And I'm also very excited to share that I've added many of my projects to my website. So I'll leave the link for that in the description below. So for now, let's get started as I show you how to make this super cool metal tape skull decanter. So the materials we are using for this project is first and foremost the star of the show and this is our skull decanter. I don't promote alcohol at all um, but this comes from a uh, or this is a vodka bottle from a Canadian company here and it's just seriously cool. It's going to be really awesome for this project. So I have a Sharpie as well and I've gone in and I have um, marked where the prominent ridges are on our skeleton and I may or may not follow those. I guess it'll depend on how the rest of it comes together but it's not a bad idea to do so in advance. We have some wire. This is some metal tape. We have a mishmash of stuff um, these are just little wooden laser cutouts from the dollar store. These are some um, metal cogs. I got these on Amazon and I used them on a different project which also entails the metal tape. This is some stickers also from the dollar store. Um, and I have gone ahead and planned in advance what it is that I want to do with this guy. Um, so that's always a good idea really with any project you know it's fun to wing it but um, you know this is kind of a one-shot deal with this and this cost me about um, 10 bucks this here so there's a bit of an investment in it so I would just recommend planning in advance uh, for most of your design anyway and then we're just using a regular glue gun um, you are going to have to cover it in the metal tape fairly quickly because um, the stuff will not your items will not, your embellishments will not stick for a prolonged period of time just with the glue. Alright, so without further ado, let's jump into this. I'm just going to put some of this stuff off to the side for the moment um, with not really having decided if I'm going to use the wire for sure or, or this stuff. So um, just put it off to the side. Alright, we're going to start by, I don't know if that's going to sit there or not, Oop, maybe, maybe not. We're going to start by adding a few of our embellishments here and this project will sort of have the feel of a whole sugar skull kind of idea. So a couple of flowers and eyes. I got this really great little heart here, filigree. I'm going to pop that up in the middle of its forehead. See, it's already looking seriously cool. All right, so there's that. And we have a couple of more little hearts. And the details of this stuff may or may not show up at the end of the project, but it'll give us the shapes at the very least. And we're going to do the same thing on this side. So this we will probably do in layers. Okay, and then there's that one there. Okay, so I've only got those few things added. I guess I'll use this to kind of prop it up a little bit. 
So to make sure that they're going to stick right off the get-go, I'm going to start to apply some of our metal tape and this stuff is finicky. Sometimes it comes apart really well and sometimes it does not. So just be patient because it you can't get a little a little frustrating. And if you tear it on a slant, um, you tend to get just a little bit of paper sticking out from behind and that can help you peel it off. But it still takes quite a lot of patience. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to, and you can see it's super tacky, right? It's super sticky. So taking this, and I'm just going to pop it in there, kind of smooth it out a little bit. Like so and that's going to help us fix that in place and you know what I'm going to go sideways like this so that this gives us a little bit of coverage on our heart as well dual purpose and then just kind of smoothing it down um, we are actually going to go in well I forgot to mention this, but we are going to go in with um, a paintbrush or perhaps a fid, which is just a little um, piece of wood actually um, that's smooth or it could be cardboard. Um, sometimes it's paper that's rolled up quite tightly and we just go in and we start to press on it and it starts to define all these little details, um, whether it's with the hot glue or whether it is with the um, the wooden bits that we're adding to this. Okay, so those two are attached securely. So we want to attach the ones on the side as well. Let's see if we can get... Oh, see that worked out beautifully. So you can see how there's the silver and then there's the white. And that's ideal as far as getting this stuff off of the paper and the stuff is getting older so sometimes it just it leaves part of its part of the paper behind we want to make sure that that is all peeled off okay so we're going to go in here and we're going to just pop that on our wooden heart on this side just to make sure that it stays in place. Okay, same thing with this one over here. We got just a titch, a little bit of white there. A little bit of paper exposed. So we'll just pull that back. That one's not cooperating. Okay, so that's going to hold those in place so we don't have to worry too much about them popping off because the glue has cooled. <clears throat> so then we will add a few more bits and pieces. Um, and you know what, I think I'll put another piece up here just to make sure that that is held in place as well. And, you know, it's it doesn't look like much right now, but um, this this tape is actually a really cool, a cool medium.
Great, that's that. That one too, so I'm going to add a bit more. <clears throat> I think we'll go work on the back of it. So I have this question mark, which I think is fantastic, given that we're working on a skull. Now we're just going to pop that here in the center. And then just tie in a couple more of our flowers which are very similar to the ones that are in the eye sockets Okay, so before we go any further, I just want to decide if I'm going to use any of these here. And I do kind of like the idea of maybe putting some stuff around the top here, the top of our skull. Now these ones there's not as much to attach the glue to, so we may end up losing part of the design because of that. So I wanted to add a little bit of wire to this guy. So all I did is I went in and I took my jewelry pliers here and I just wrapped the wire in a coil and just went around and around and around and around. And then pull this apart a bit. It's going to vary depending on the space that you have or the space that I have here between these so I want to go like this and end it off so that will actually and I think I'll go like that I think I'll flip it around a bit okay so I'll give it a little shot of glue here I want to keep it fairly neat and then I'll give it another shot of glue there this is kind of a fun fun technique now these are not going to stick very well so I'll have to get 
some tape on them right away. And then this is all I did to create those. Like so. No pre-measured amount. Just making that coil and stretching it out. And that one is about perfect. I'm popping that in there. Just give a little shot of glue. Don't know that you guys are really able to see a lot of what what I did here. So now I think I will add a little bit more wire along here. And I can see where some of my glue is starting to separate off of the glass. So I do want to get the tape on here fairly soon, fairly quickly. So this stretch along the back, it's actually fairly long, so it's going to take quite a few coils. Alright, so then I'm going to continue adding all of our metal tape to our skull here. So let's keep going with that. And I think we'll get those delicate wire areas first. If the glue comes off in any area, it's a little bit easier to fix than if we lose the detail of our wire. So we have wrapped our bottle in our silver foil tape and I've gone in and I have done most of the detail um, with either the brush or the paper blending stick and this one here is a little embossing tool so I'll just quickly go over this so that you can see how this works. You just take and you just mold the tape around the areas that we've either applied with glue or is the actual glue itself. And as you can see as we go along it really makes those details pop. And then just taking and smoothing down those areas that are falling between our designs. That and with the embossing tool it's pretty much the same thing. You get a little bit crisper lines with something like this but it certainly is beautiful if you're just using the um, the brush as well and this is a softer edge to it very very cool technique and super super easy
And I brought in some acrylic paint, some black, um, and then we're going to just start to apply this to our skull and um, and then we're just going to watch as these details just jump off of our project by doing so. It's really, really quite incredible how much this changes the look of the whole project. So you're just getting in and you're just kind of smushing it into the all the cracks and the crevices. I'm going to just do the top of the top of the head and work my way down. But this is going to, as I said, really, really make this make this pop. And quite simply take our take our paper towel and we just start to wipe wipe away the paint. Is that not fabulous? Look at that. Very, very cool. All right, we just continue on like that.
And there is our seriously cool metal tape glass skull decanter. Absolutely love how he came out. And I have some plans for him, so stay tuned to see how I marry him with some of our other projects. So for now, this is Laura, and I really thank you for popping by and joining me as we made this super cool project together. I really appreciate you being here. And don't forget to give me the thumbs up. It really helps my channel. And subscribe, comment, click that bell so you get the notifications when we come up with new content. So for now, thanks again, and I hope you have a fantastic day.